Hi guys, it's Jen and I am back again with another video. This video is going to be talking about all of my wedding details and stuff like that. I don't know why I'm breathing hard. I think I opened up this video just breathing hard. I'm going to drink some water. It actually matches my shirt. I look kind of luminescent, don't I? <laughs> okay. So let's get started. Last time um, I talked to y'all, um, or last time I saw y'all, it was when we were um, in Birmingham at Corbell and LaMonica's wedding. We had a great time. Um, but now I'm back home. I have all of the footage from Charlotte. And I'm basically going to just put pieces in from um, what it is that I'm talking about, or that's what I'm going to try to do. Um, but if y'all saw that vlog, y'all know Homegirl forgot her wedding book. So I really could not do what I wanted to do with the vendors like I said I was going to do. So basically, this video is not as I planned it to be. I'm basically just going to tell you guys about my wedding, the plans that I have for my wedding, and advice that I have for any other brides. This is going to be as in-depth as I can get it um, with the time that I have. But congratulations to anyone else that's getting married that's watching this video. Um, and if you guys have any questions that I did not address, then let me know. But um, we went to Charlotte to see our vendor. So I'll start off there. Our vendor is Harvey B. Gant. They're located in Uptown Charlotte. It's an African-American art, um, historic arts museum. Um, and they do carry a lot of, um, of African-American artwork, of course. And they have, a, um, they have three levels where we're going to get married at. Um, let's describe the venue first. When you first come in, there's a little shopping store. And then you go up these escalators. That's also how Joe and I um, intend to do our entrance um, along with our bridal party. Our bridal party will go up the elevators and then we'll be the last people to go up um, and then it comes to the grand lobby the grand lobby is where we're gonna have our dinner have our first dance all of that stuff um, but the guests are gonna have cocktail hour before dinner at the grand lobby on the mezzanine level the mezzanine level looks over the grand lobby so um, the guests will be there from 6 to 7 p.m. Um, and I'll we'll just do drinks, things like that, uh, and they get to view the galleries. Um, and then we have the final area where the wedding will be held, which is three floors, y'all. I'm getting married on three different levels, but um, the third level is going to be the rooftop, and that's where we're going to have games, we're going to have dancing, we're going to have um, all of this other stuff. So if you want to have a three-level wedding like me, these are definitely the hurdles that you need to consider. One, DJ. We have a DJ and our DJ is going to be split. He's going to have a lower level on the second floor and then on the rooftop will be his main setup. Um, for cocktail hour, we're just going to have music playing over top because it is an hour long. Um, so that's something that you need to consider if you're going to do different levels, um, where your DJ would be housed and if they'd be willing to break themselves up like that. Um, another thing to consider is your guest. How will you be transporting all of these people? Um, so I have, well, I don't have staff, <laughs> but um, for the event, there will be staff and um, they will be directing the guests back and forth to where it is that they need to go. I feel like this shirt is just bright, y'all. Please forgive me. I kind of want to change, but it is what it is. Um, so... <clears throat> Yeah, so that's something that you have to consider in, ter um, consider in terms of having a three-level wedding. Um, another thing to consider just for your venue alone is seating um, There's and your table setup. So in terms of a venue, um, when Joe and I looked at Harvey B. Gantt Center, we looked 
first we wanted them because they were a historically um because they not they're not a historically african-american museum because they're a new it's a brand new building it's not historic but they represent african-american culture so that is why we chose that place to have our wedding because we are african-americans and proud of it so um that's why we chose that venue but when we got there we found out that they offered a lot of other things so that i can talk about them um so what we did was we got the Artful Experience package, and that includes the mezzanine for cocktail with museum guests. All right, I'm back. Um, I'm going to try and power through this. Um, the way that my camera is set up, though, it's like I film from my um, phone, and I don't have a lot of storage on my phone, which I spend a lot of time talking when I could just be talking to y'all. Okay, so let's finish off with the wedding. Um, now, with your venue, make sure that you know what is included with it. Like with our venue, Harvey B. Gantt Center, it comes with the tables. The tables are included. It also comes with um, custodial, so they'll be cleaning up after the event. So make sure that those are the questions that you ask your venue. What's included? Do you guys have a price sheet? Do you guys offer packages? Um, what kind of deals can you give me if I do this much it can never hurt to ask um for example um where we are i'm inviting children i'm inviting older people people that don't necessarily drink um and i want to have alcohol at my wedding so what i'm doing is i'm doing a wristband um so when the people rsvp for my wedding they will tell me hey um well there's a question are you um, drinking for this event. I don't remember what I said, but um, they'll click yes for themselves one They'll click both for themselves and their guests or they'll pick no and from there I'll accumulate a head count and I'll go to them tell them that head count and that'll be what I pay for Versus paying for an open bar for everyone when everyone doesn't drink So see if you can work things out like that with your vendor um, Just things like that now. Let's move on to, well, I don't really want to move on. Um, but these are just vendor questions. I do um, have other things that I can talk to you guys about in terms of specifications of my wedding before the video cut off the first time I was telling y'all um, about our entrance and how we're going to go in. So if y'all have questions about all of that, honey, it's on lock already. So just comment down below. But I don't want this video... I want it to be educational, but I don't want for it to be over the top and too informative. So for right now, we're just going to stick with the vendors and the venues right now. Um, so you've already seen our reception space. Now we're going to, we did it backwards, but we're going to go on to the ceremony space. Um, so that was our next appointment, which really wasn't an appointment. We just went to the park. I met up with my mommy there. Um... And we basically decided where we wanted to get married. Now, some things I do want to tell y'all about getting married at the park. They're um, owned by the city. So you most of the things that you have to do is like um, for North Carolina, you go to parksandrecreations.com. You go up there. There's like an education. There's a website that you fill out um, a form for the date. Another thing to keep in mind is it has to be 11 months out. Um, I, I tried to book this thing before 11 months out because we had a two-year engagement. And yeah, so like I was saying, um, you can't book a vendor um, for most part, well, for the parks in North Carolina until you're 11 months out from your event. So I literally just did the paperwork on that. I'm waiting to hear back from the lady. Um, but basically, you give them your information, the event of the day of the event, things like that. Um, there's also a sheet, which I will leave in a link down below with all of the information for the park vendors as well as their prices so if anyone's getting married in north carolina you will already have that information courtesy of me and my struggles of trying to find it so you are welcome um number well we're not going on numbers we're i'm basically just chatting with you guys um so 
Originally, we decided that we were going to get married in the oval because it had like this huge awning and I thought it would be pretty to decorate and things like that. But there was just so much grass. We couldn't figure out the direction in which um, the bride and groom would enter and things like that. So we decided to get married um, on this platform area, which does not have a specific location, but it's in like the main guard the main um park area but they have a platform um it's like grassy um it's just really really pretty and i think it can be decorated nicely it'll house all of the people and it's very small very intimate so um that's where we decided that we will be getting married um i will have to up you update you guys with the information but um so far, I know that to rent out the park, it's $300 for every two hours. So our event, I'm thinking it'll take two hours, one for breakdown, one for setup, and then our event itself is an hour. So we'll probably be coming out of pocket 600 bucks. My assumption, that's what I budgeted out for, um, but we are not sure. So I will get back to you guys on park and recreation and all of that fun stuff. Um, the last appointment that we had in terms of the wedding together was our catering. Um, we did catering with, um, Passion Food Catering. Um, the owner, her name is Camille and she is absolutely wonderful. She's so, so sweet, so down to earth. Um, the food was delicious. We, tr we did not try everything. Um, now for our wedding, I can tell you guys exactly what our menu is going to be. Um, now we are having a, never mind. I don't know if I can tell you. I don't know if I can tell you, but you guys can already kind of assume. Um, but anyway, so for our cocktail hour, we're going to do chips and salsa. So we did not eat chips and salsa. Um, she did give us one of the salsas to try her regular tomato salsa which was really yummy um but we did not try all of the other salsas it's going to be a giant salsa bar black bean salsa peach salsa guacamole charred tomato salsa and a vegan cheesy corn dip um and then for the dinner we're going to have um mexican taco style food so it's going to be um fried plantanos um black beans um spanish rice with capers um we're gonna have like these cheesy vegan um, enchiladas and a couple of other vegan dishes. Um, and then for, sa for the salad bar, we tried all of the salad um, dressings, which were yummy. Um, they were a vegan avocado ranch, um, a vegan balsamic dressing, and a vegan raspberry citrus dressing. They were all really yummy. Um, and then we're going to have a fondue station, which Joe talked Camille into getting a chocolate fountain because Joe is a groomzilla. And y'all, we got to do a video together with just us so y'all can see how groomzilla he is. But he wants to be in everything, every single thing. And I did not know that guys did that. Um, so those are the vendors that we went to see. Oh, questions. Um, so the questions that I did ask Camille when I got there in terms of silverware, plates, things like that, are they provided? And um, she actually does provide them, but she rents them. So she was telling me that um, what I can do is I can purchase them myself and get a lot, come out a lot cheaper versus um, not purchasing them myself and um, having to pay her to rent them. So that's what I did. Um, I went to Target and I found uh, a silverware set that was literally rose gold copper color, the color I wanted. Um, and it was those disposable ones, but looked like really good plastic grade. Um, so I'm going to use those. <sighs> Y'all, this camera is pissing me off. Every time that I get into like the mode to talk to you guys, so this camera keeps telling me I'm out of storage, so I'm just going to get this video over with. And I hate saying that because I don't want to get it over with. I really do want to get in depth, but I got to get the information out so that I don't. I'm already wasting 30 seconds. You know what I'm saying? So, whatever. Um, but, yes, that was our last meeting with Passion Food Caterings. And the advice that I have to you guys is see if you can work out a deal with your caterers always be nice to your vendors always be nice to your venues because it's your wedding day and a lot of people are like well i'm paying them 
so they should just do what I say, blah, blah, blah. But these are people. These are people, and they can decide whether they like you or not and what lengths they're willing to go for you. You know what I'm saying? So, um and plus, they might, if they like you, they'll give you a discount or they'll say, hey, I'll just take. Yeah, so um, just be nice to your vendors. Be as courteous as you can and um, really try and not get mulled over at the same time. Let them know that you're willing to look for other places. It took us a minute to find a good videography deal, um, but that's another vendor for another time. Literally, I just wanted to talk to you guys about the caterers, the ceremony, and the reception. So that's what we covered in this video. I'm so sorry, y'all. I really wanted to make it longer. I really wanted to make it in-depth. But this camera literally hates me. <laughs> um, and it's pissing me off. Like, I love YouTubing and I want to really do it. But then it's things like this that just annoys me to the point where I'm like, I don't even want to deal with it. And that's probably why you guys haven't gotten your videos on time and stuff like that. It's just because things are against me right now. Especially this camera. But um, before it dies, <laughs> be blessed, stay stress-free. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful week, wonderful month, wonderful year, and I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video. Hello to all of my new subscribers out there. Y'all like me. I see you. I see you. Hey, y'all. Um, and uh, if you have any questions about this video, let me know if you're getting married in Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, if you have any questions about North Carolina or like the theme or anything to do with my wedding.